go this way. This is the way I'm not supposed to ride it though, right? No, but fuck it. <laughs> What's going on everybody? My name is Vibe the Legacy. If you do not know who I am, and if you do know who I am. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Vibe the Legacy, and you are here for yet another one of Vibe's Vlogs. Yes, it's a crazy day. You know what time it is? <laughs> it's skateboarding time. I hate wearing masks because it makes me look like an elf. Puts my ears all down and shit. What's up? Look, I'm I'm filming different. Yeah, I know. This is <laughs> good. <laughs> it's a new look. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good look. And what are we doing today? We're going to Harlem right now. Um, I have a skate school, skate everything school, um, YouTube channel in the mind of Yak. My name is O'Neal, but everyone calls me Yak. We're going to a lesson. I have a four o'clock lesson today with two boys. They are new to skating, so this should be awesome. It's learning time. Vibe is gonna learn how to skate too. It's never too late to turn pro. I mean, look at Steven Shaw. He's pro and he's 60 years old. Holy crap, when did he turn pro? Mm -hmm. 59. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Turn pro at 59. Yes, so you, you could decide you wanna skate tomorrow, spend the years grinding, and you could do the same. So, who do you work for, bro? Oh, I work for Bustin' Boards, and also for myself for the skate school, but um, I, uh, I've been skating for almost a decade now. Uh, my backstory, just to make it short, um, I wasn't skating in high school when I was younger, but I had a lot of friends who skated, so after high school and college, I started to skate. They were all awesome, and it just came to me naturally, and here I am. That's dope, that's dope. I have a question. So, so, like, do you think that the sponsorship rolled in the second you decided to like go dive into it? No, um, that's a good question. Yeah. So, um, I started off on a regular skateboard and then my friends introduced me to like hybrid boards. And the board at the time was the company Bustin' Boards. Okay. And so it was my first board, my first hybrid long board skateboard kind of thing. And Time out. All right. I was wondering as he was talking, I didn't get to address this, but I was gonna ask him also, is it because that was your first busting board, the hybrid, that you bestowed onto me the hybrid so that I may also learn the ways of the busting boards? I don't know, but I long to find the answer and I have a good feeling about all this. Something about it, it's really... I was just super excited about busting, period. So I started buying all like, their boards, all their clothes, and then I started to make videos, send them videos, and I got cool with people who knew, people who worked within um, the company. And in 2015, I got noticed, and then from then on, uh, nice, my nice. dreams sort of came true little by little, and I'm still working on my dreams. That's so I never give fire, up. Bro. That's fire. Oh my God. That's proof that you could start at any time you want, as long as you have the passion to do it. But it's like dropping in, right? You just gotta commit. Exactly. You just gotta commit. Holy crap. We, we're getting in the mind of a skater. Instantly. Yeah, Instantly. you're gonna film some type of discipline you never knew you had in yourself from the skating because it, it takes a lot of repetition to learn something. But yeah. you got this, man. Yeah. So. Yes, so we're gonna have a six month challenge. Six month challenge. <laughs> Holy right? shit, six pro, months. Pro in six months. <laughs> That's all we need. Pro in six months. Yeah, if I can turn pro in six months, I think I lose my mind. I, if I can even get a sponsorship in six months, that'll be the world. We're gonna work on it. Let's go. I'm here on 110th in Central Park. I do a lot of lessons here. I wouldn't say most of them. I usually go all city, but yes, I have my electric board with me today and my main board on my book bag. And I have about 15 minutes to set up for my students. So that's what I'm gonna go do. All right, see you then. My boy Yak, he's setting up for the Skate Everything School. He's about to set up for a lesson. You're gonna see some more of this footage soon. Obstacle course, I think. 
This is gonna be fun. So I'm in Central Park. I've already started skating. Got my yo face here. I'm here with my boy Yak. He's doing the class while he does this class. I was supposed to go up and down this hill to get used to kind of like surfing on this. It's kind of a bitch though, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't know if I can vlog and do this, but we got another camera angle coming like now. I'm gonna try to skateboard with this shit in my hand. I know it's pretty dumb, I'm gonna do it anyway. Hello. How you doing, people? We in Central Park right now. Oh, we have first person shooter mode. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but for real, I'm a fucking clown. I need to stop clowning around. Cause uh, I clown around on the skateboard, I'm gonna bust my ass. Fly kids, I wanna bump to no kids. Especially, I'm, I'm learning how to skate and they probably know how to do what they're doing better than I know. But you already know. Mid-vid. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. So, this is not a thing I'm used to. But I'm sitting on my board right now. Because I'm sweating. I don't know if you can see this. I'll bring it closer to me. I'm fucking sweating. The whole goal is for me to learn how to go up and down hills. I think it's just to, to wear me down. I don't think, nah, I was gonna say, I don't think I got nothing left, but you know I got a little something extra left. I'm gonna keep doing it. So you're gonna see a whole bunch of videos of me trying to skate different terrain. Yay! Okay, we are filming. If you are watching my suicide mission, I am attempting to skateboard. Probably not the best idea for a lot of people. It is Central Park. Even with all the social distancing, there's been a lot of people coming. So we're gonna see if we can go, all right? We can't fall if we're on camera. 
camera. I only fall when I'm off camera for some reason, which is bad because I need some falls for the video. People are so nice when you're skating. They actually get out your way. All right, we're gonna go in this vision. In case I fall, it'll be way more hilarious. You guys ready? I already feel like I'm gonna fall. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gassing it for the vlog. I really feel like I'm gonna fall right now. It's like he taught me how to turn and like, oh shit, this is my biggest lesson yet. Avoiding people coming. I think I just saved these kids. Yo, no lie, I just saved a life today. Cause I didn't know, I, I forced myself to learn how to turn just to not hit those kids. It was a good skate session. What are we about to do now? We about to be off this. We got to bump board down the hill, go back to the Bronx. Am I gonna fall and get some new bruises? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're gonna be straight. You sure I got like four different uh, skate tattoos as you call them? Of course. Beginning stages. For everybody that doesn't know, skate tattoos is when uh, when you get cut and they don't want to call them scars. They're skate tattoos, is reminders. I get that right? Bro, am I in the yeah, right spot? Yeah, you are. I don't feel like it. No, I... no, so don't bend your legs. Just keep your feet up like that and just drag your feet like how mine are. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, so just go straight like that. Yeah, just take it, take it easy. Take it slow. Come on, I keep going. Like I don't got enough momentum. Keep going, keep going. All right. I'm going to go this way. This is the way I'm not supposed to ride it, though, right? No, but fuck it. More content. Did you think I was gone? No, not gone. Why aren't you subscribed?